Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Coronation Street returns next week with some high-octane and intense narrative developments, and Metro's brand new video clips give you a taste of what to expect. The ITV serial has been drama central in recent months, with sleazy affairs and terrible ordeals capturing the attention of the nation. But there's more to come, with Tracy Barlow's secret romance expected to be revealed by one of her neighbors next week. Dylan Wilson, meantime, faces some tough concerns at school, and an unexpected return has one resident beaming like the cat that got the cream. It's going to be another deliciously hectic week on our favorite fictitious street, and if you really can't wait, don't worry because I've managed to get you three fresh new clips. Tracy rarely finds herself at a loss for words, but in the above clip from Monday's episode of the long-running serial, Tim Metcalf confronts her about her affair with Tommy Orpington. Don't bamboozle me with big words, exclaims Tim when Tracy asks if he's added mindreading to his skill set, which isn't even that big a word, in Tracy's defense. In any case, she does not have the upper hand in this circumstance, as Tim demands that she tell her unknowing husband, Steve, the truth. The question is, will our Trace accomplish just that? Will she be able to get out of this tight situation? Dallin and Scene attend a meeting at Mrs. Crawshaw's office following Liam Connor's bullying ordeal. Despite everyone knowing Mason was the ring leader, Dylan claims he's to blame, and Mrs. Crawshaw suspends him, much to Scene's dismay. Will Mason ever face the consequences for what he did to poor Liam? Will Dylan do the right thing by telling the truth? Daisy broods and seethes, her words, not mine, in the aftermath of a confrontation with Bethany Platt who quite aggressively used her predicament with Ryan and Daniel Osborne as the foundation for an article. Jenny enters the rover's backroom in an attempt to cheer her up, bringing in a visitor, none other than Ryan, who surely puts a smile on her face. In her defense, who wouldn't be delighted to meet Ryan, especially now that he is back where he belongs? It was announced this morning that Coronation Street veteran John Savadin had died at the age of 86, but what happened to his character Fred Elliott? John first featured as loud businessman Fred in 1994, then as a recurring character until 1996, when he became a regular face for the next decade. The character's fate was sealed in the ITV soap when his butchers, Elliot and Son, were added to the dreaded Granada Studios backlot around the turn of the millennium. What were Fred's most memorable moments? During his tenure on the show, Fred was compelled to admit his nephew Ashley Peacock that he was truly his father. Ashley realized that his birth mother had given him to her childless sister as a baby and kept his true parentage a secret. As publican of the Rover's return, Fred first bought shares in the Boozer from Natalie Barnes and co-owned it with Mike Baldwin and Dovey Ferguson. Taking complete ownership in 2002, he appointed wife Eve as licensee so he could concentrate on his beloved butchers, but this was short-lived when her bigamy was exposed. Fred, who had always been unlucky in love, subsequently fell for Ty Bride Orchid, but this was short-lived because he realized she was a Mancunian market stall woman named Stacy, who was intending to cheat him out of his riches. How did Fred exit the show? He eventually found happiness with fiancé Bev Unwin, but he was conflicted when old friend Audrey Roberts admitted that she regretted denying his proposal years ago. As their wedding day approached, Fred sought her blessing and prepared to leave, but slumped in the hallway and died of a stroke before he could. Ashley's presence was felt on the eponymous street for many years after, as he continued to run his business with assistant Grain Proctor until his death in the horrific tram tragedy in 2010. Ashley was perplexed when Graham began imitating Fred's familiar speech pattern despite having never met the master butcher, but he ultimately admitted that he was picking up on stories Claire Peacock had told him. Despite the fact that he left the program 18 years ago and his family passed away over 14 years ago, the legendary character is still mentioned from time to time. Toya Battersby, whom Fred had wrongly referred to as Toyota, remembered him as a renowned former landlord when she took over as Rover's landlady in 2017. Coronation Street fans are reflecting on John Savadin's renowned portrayal of Fred Elliott following the actor's passing at the age of 86. The acclaimed star's departure was confirmed by his agency, who issued the following statement, 
We are sad to report the death of the actor John Savident, who died on Wednesday, February 21st. He was a much-loved husband and father of two who would be much missed by those who knew him. Following the terrible news, social media has been flooded with condolences, with fans and co-stars reflecting on John's classic performance as Fred. The actor initially appeared on the ITV soap in 1994, returning the following year. He became a permanent fixture on the cobbles in 1996, and he remained there until 2006. During his tenure on the namesake street, John created a genuinely distinctive soap character in a way that only he was capable of, providing viewers with numerous iconic moments as Fred, the unlucky and love butcher whose attitude was truly larger than life. His unique voice and distinct tone, not to mention his habit for repeating the tail end of phrases, earned him a fan favorite back home, and dare I say it, one of Corey's most beloved characters across its 64-year run. To demonstrate how famous Fred was, we're revisiting this homage created by a fan a couple of years ago, courtesy of the classic Corey reruns that air daily on ITV3, which highlight John's enormous assortment of unique noises as Fred, which helped solidify him as the soap icon he would become. Fred's most memorable storylines were discovering that cousin Ashley Peacock was actually his son, as well as plunging down a sinkhole in Audrey Roberts' backyard on Grasmere Drive. The butcher was famously unlucky in love, marrying three times and having several additional proposals rejected. In October 2006, Fred died of a stroke in Audrey's hallway while on his way to his wedding to Bev Unwin. Fans can relive his later years on ITV3 every afternoon with iconic episodes of the series from 2004 presently airing. In the early 2000s, John Savident from Coronation Street was stabbed in the neck by an escort, resulting in a harrowing episode. Earlier today, it was reported that the soap star who played Fred Elliott has died at the age of 86. We are heartbroken to report the passing of actor John Savident, who died on Wednesday, February 21. The statement from his agent reads, He was a much-loved husband and father of two who would be much missed by those who knew him. John was involved in a horrific event in 2000 when he was stabbed after meeting an escort at a Manchester club. Michael Smith was sentenced to seven years in prison for attacking John, who lost two quarts of blood. The week-long trial at Manchester Crown Court revealed that Michael persuaded John that he was a drama student during their initial meeting at Napoleon's Bar, which the actor had previously visited as part of a World AIDS Day event. John and Michael talked in the married star's flat until the early hours of the next day. During the court trial, John revealed that he went to his flat's bedroom to charge his phone, but Michael threw him face down into his bed at knife point. He stated at the time, I suddenly felt somebody come up behind me and whiz me around so I was face down on the bed, and then I felt a prick on my throat. He said something like, I bet you've never met a schizo before, which was really alarming. After calling 911, the star pleaded with them to keep the story from going public, stating that he plays Fred Elliott in Coronation Street. Judge Harold Singer stated during the trial that John could have bled to death since the knife struck a major blood vessel. When John returned to Coronation Street after the attack, he was seen on TV with a plaster on his neck, with Fred explaining that he had injured himself in a butchering mishap. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.